grand rising, grand afternoon, grand day, wherever you might be, message of the day. This is going to be a long one, so prepared to see what message wants to flow. Let's see where we're going. Let's see what's coming through. Message of the day. I want to give a shout out to a very good friend who got me this beautiful pendant. Citrine promotes clarity, promotes mental clarity and removes brain fog. It's this nice like lime green. It's made in Cusco. Thank you so much. Your note made me cry, by the way. I haven't had a chance to talk to her yet, but I'm feeling less foggy. Um, but at the same time, I hope you've liked my content thus far. We, I have been expressing how I feel and that's how we should be. I'm not going to diminish something just because I'm in a vibe. That's the vibe you're in. And that's what you should always be expressing and feeling every single emotion, every single feeling that comes up. Um, whatever that might be, I'm not going to suppress it just so that my brand looks good and I look like I'm not in a vibe. Like, that's my motherfucking vibe. And that's the vibe you should be in. Own it. Reframe. Awakening. Karma. Oh, gosh. All right. Where are we going with this? This is happening for me, not to me. Awakening. Oh, my Lord, wake me from the life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. There is nothing from the past life that can't be addressed in the current life. This is almost like... This is karma. This is something very well could be happening for you. Right. And of course here we promote positive words of affirmation. So somebody here is getting is 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 awakening. Somebody here is new beginning, the fool. Somebody here is is getting a gift from the universe. Reframe has a gift here. Notice how it's green and I'm wearing green and today's pendant citrine is green. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Crown chakra activation here. Maybe someone's getting a download here of some sort. An awakening, an aha moment, a realization, a a a surprise. As I look at the tower at the bottom, surprise. Karma is paying itself. Whether you believe in karma or you don't, whether you think that it happens now, or it happens in a past life, or in a future life. Something's being granted and gifted to you here. King of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is a big deal. Big picture idea and money and people. Let's talk about this really quick. Finances, opportunity. There's something that's a big deal here. There is a big picture behind it. And I would like to preface here is I think where Alvin is is is, is seeing the collective is in a matter of that there's so many people that still don't see the big picture behind things. Right, they're still in the small black mentality, and I think that's where my frustration comes in because I realize that I can't, I can't. People don't think how I think, and there's a big deal here. Reframe. There's something happening to you that that has to do with the bigger picture. You know, I don't want to sit here and say that that someone might be doing something might happen to someone that they might unnecessarily like, but when I see this, it's like I want you to see the big picture because there really is no such thing as something negative that happens to you. Or you should at least go into it with that perspective. Because as soon as you put in that lack, fear, this happened to me. Oof, this happening for me, not to me. If you start with that mentality of it's happening to me. Oh my God, why is this happening to me? We need to reframe that. That entire aspect of spirituality in your mind. Or let me not even say spirituality. Let's reframe that whole entire thought process that you think things are happening to me. It's not happening to me. It's happening for you. And sometimes it's not going to be what you want it to be. It's not. 
It's not. And it very well can be. Ace of Pentacles. And I acknowledge that things might not happen the way you want them to happen. But this is telling me that something's being granted to you. There's an, there's an offer. There's a gift. There is an opportunity. Very well could be in finances. The, with the Karma card and Three of Cups here, this really tells me like this is this a little bit of a collective energy, like group of people. Right? Maybe this is a group of people that are now stepping up into the next level of, of their life. For those of you that want people, I'm trying to rephrase this. For those of you that want people in your life, group of people, community, it's being sown. It's being sown for you. And it very well could come from something from the past, a, even a different lifetime here. This is very, this is very big picture. It's almost like the way, I, and then bottom of the deck is receiving and this is going to be very spiritual, right? Because I really feel here like something's about to happen to someone, an opportunity that has nothing to do with what you expected in this lifetime. It's really, really what I'm getting here. It has nothing to do with this lifetime. They were talking about some old school karma. Could be from the recent past. I personally think that it's just not from this lifetime. This very well could be a new message for somebody that might be brand new to my channel. You're awakening. You're about to see the big picture behind where you come from and where you've been and where you're going. This awakening card, it's like someone's, it's, it's, it's awakening somebody. This is, could very well be activating something in someone. That not everything has to happen now in the 3D. Things can very well happen. Karma can pay itself back, pay itself forward. From things from past lifetimes from situations that very well could have taken place very recently let's kind of dive into this tell me about this big picture idea tell me about this king of wands this is a very big leader figure if we're talking about creative we're talking about boss we're talking about we're talking about something that's a big deal that's bigger than you think are you actually pulling back and seeing the whole entire picture? Which sometimes that can lead to like future prediction and like, where is this leading me? Where could this potentially lead me? Wow. Nine of pentacles. Wow. Six of wands. Wow. The star card. Wow. So my facial expressions. Wow. Okay. You're being granted a wish. You're being granted an opportunity, a wish fulfillment, a very stable, <laughs> very stable, very victorious. I gotta be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody here makes it famous. You got, you got, th this is like the message of the day, eight minutes and 27 seconds in, your wish is granted. Nine of cups came, I would say it's a wish. I'd say something here stable and secure is coming your way. I could say wish because the star card is about wish fulfillment. This is in the spotlight. The reason I say famous because like this is in the spotlight. Aquarius energy, uh, famous people, you know, like on on TV, right? Very much so. And I gotta be honest, like I'm I'm not cloudy about this <laughs> thanks to the pendant that I'm wearing, citrine, and like it's it's really think about it and how can I spin this into a perspective that kind of makes sense. Reframe your mind from seeing things in a space of it's happening, it's not happening to me, it's happening for me. Good, bad, and the ugly, I have to preface that. I promise you that opens the window to so much more than, than you can actually think of spirituality. It's like, I, I even just, I'm just gonna pull back for a minute because I feel like I'm being very vague. Like, I am so beyond grateful for everything that I've gone through in the past and sometimes I reflect on that and those things are always gonna come up. But without those things, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I see now how those things needed to happen for me in order for me to be where I'm at and where I can see myself going and where what's next for me. I paid some karma debt. I've had some karmatic relationships. Karma just means it's a contract, right? Even a soulmate can be 
a karma a karmatic relationship because 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 karma just means that you and another soul or you have a job to do and you sign that contract and there's a contract here that ooh is being fulfilled ooh there is a karmatic contract that is being written off as i get slightly emotional there is a karmatic contract here that is being signed and it's being written oh my god where is this coming from part of me feels like i said in the beginning this is not even something from this lifetime that you didn't even realize that it was coming your way um i really feel like there's just an aspect here of like people will see you in some sort of way It involves multiple people. It involves a collective. So this is a collective reading. So there's like, it's just more than one person. So people will be seen. People will be, people are going to start seeing the big picture. The opportunities and the offers are very successful and it's very stable, very secure. But I got to say, this is very solo vibes. This is, this is work that you've done. This is something that you've done, maybe in secret, maybe in silence. It could be just like the healing work and that could be your karmatic contract. It's like, my friend, you have awakened and you have reframed the mindset of things happening for me and not to me and karma is paying you forward, literally paying you and saying, having a parade to celebrate your accomplishment, congratulations. You have fulfilled a wish, a karmatic debt, a fulfillment, a hope, a dream. This, this is pretty big because if I think about it in that context, like this is fulfilling that, right? There might be people that might help you fulfill this at the same time. So keep your keep your doors open to other people. As Even though I said that this is very solo vibes, this is typically my solo card here. But this is like a leader that's stable. A leader that has done a lot of hard work. You have done a lot of hard work. And I want to acknowledge that you have done a lot of hard work. And that you have been through a lot. And you might see this repeated throughout the week because I have content that I've already produced and it talks about this, talks about what empowers you, what what gets you going. Like people don't see the work that you that you have done in the background. People don't see how much you've awakened and how much you have changed. And sometimes you have to need a reminder to remind you that you have been through a lot and you are more than capable of going through anything else. You know, what else could you what can't you get through? Especially by the time you make it to like my awkward channel, you know, <laughs> and it is awkward. It's very different and I'm going to keep it that way. There's a big, there's a big, I, there's something very stable, so fucking stable and like celebratory, you know, oh my God, what a beautiful reading here, whether you want that to be a hope, a dream, whether you want it to be groups of people or a partner, whether you want that to be your bank account or your creative job that you're doing, or you want to be seen in the spotlight, that's here too. I am not the mind. I am not the body. I am the spirit. I am the light. I fall to rise. I am not the emotion. I am not the thought. I am the spirit. I am the light. I fall to rise. You fall to rise. We fall to rise. Kick me down and watch me come back twice. Kick me down and watch me rise. You gotta fall somewhere in order to rise. Guardian angel, someone from the other side says hello. You are guarded and protected. Before I start to cry again. God lives within me as I have faith in what I cannot see. This this journey has been dark. Your journey has been foggy. And now I present to you with green citrine where the cloudiness is going away. If anything, you're watching this reading still, the vagueness in the fog is going away. You're starting to see things as they are. And because of that, because of reframing your mind and this is happening for me. You're awakening to a whole nother level. And you're paying so many more debts than you possibly could think by not doing it your way and by trusting and being guided in things that you cannot see. I cannot see anything beyond today, beyond this moment. 
beyond this very second that in 20 minutes it'll be a moment and a post from the past. And if you live that way, I promise you'll be surprised. My name is Alvin Catalan. I am present. I'm done speaking now.